Today in Wild in the Kitchen, it is all about heirloom childhood favorite recipes. And I'm here with Jim Kinberg from Fire Lake Grill House and Cocktail Bar. And Jim, I understand we're making grandma's meatloaf, but it's actually grandma's venison meatloaf. That's right, and it's definitely inspired from grandma's recipe. We've given a little twist with the venison today, but delicious comfort food. I'm seeing some good ingredients, including number one ingredient, one of my favorites, bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so Jim, I'm noticing that we have two types of meat in here. So one must be venison, but what's the other? We've got some pork sausage in there. So we've got Ooh, two okay. pounds of ground venison to one pound of pork sausage. We've also got a little bit of binder in which we can get started with if you want to take those breadcrumbs. These are the Japanese breadcrumbs. Excellent. One cup, dump those in there, and then we've got a third cup of whole milk. You just pour that right over the top. You want to grab the uh, Onions, there's some garlic over there. So just a little bit of clarified butter. Onions first? Onions first. So those are gonna take a little bit longer to cook. We're also gonna add a little bit of garlic. So that's one tablespoon, approximately three cloves. If you could grab me, there's some Italian seasonings over there. Got it. There's also a little bit of celery seed. Approximately two teaspoons of the Italian seasoning and then one teaspoon of those celery, celery seeds. Celery seed, that smells good. Letting the onion mixture cool down because we don't want it to cook the meat. Correct. All right, so what is the next step? Once you add the salt and pepper, we've got a, about a teaspoon and a half of salt. Just so dump all of it this in salt, there. Oh, yeah, okay. we're going to get in there with our hands and mix all this right, all together. All right, I like it. About three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, fresh ground pepper. Fresh ground pepper. And then we got to crack two eggs into this. All right, what do we do with the Worcestershire? <laughs> Worcestershire. Let's be honest, no one knows how to say this word, do we? <laughs> take that bottle and shake a couple teaspoons okay. worth right over the top. That's going to add some more flavor as well. If you want to take the onions, those should have cooled off they enough. Cool down. And last, we've got those soaked breadcrumbs going in there. And now we're ready to mix. This is right. the fun part of cooking right here. Yep. So the idea is you want to combine all those evenly, but you really don't want to overwork it because sometimes that gets the meat a little tough. All right, so we're ready for the meat. We've got our bacon laid out. We want to just kind of set it horizontally. Horizontally, that's the trick. Right, now we're ready to wrap it in the bacon and we're going to just kind of lattice it on the back, make a nice seam. If you want to grab that. So you're over. almost braiding the bacon to almost. make sure the meatloaf stays together. We're gonna season it with just a little bit of dry rub. Give it another little layer of flavor. And then for baking, this is actually gonna go in that 350 degree oven. 30 minutes under foil. 30 minutes under foil. Last 15 minutes, we're gonna remove the foil, let that bacon get nice and crisp and golden brown. Look at that. All right. Now there is a meatloaf. So we cook this to about 160 degrees internal temperature. Now the one thing I've noticed that grandma always used on her meatloaf was ketchup. Correct. And I, I like that we're not using ketchup. Me as well. That's kind of a <laughs> controversy in my house. I'm not a big of fan of the ketchup on the meatloaf. However, my wife and kids love it. So actually, I've got a little smoked Fire Lake ketchup. We'll Ooh, serve on the side. That sounds you good. Like it, it's there for you. But it doesn't necessarily need it. So there you have it, Grandma's heirloom recipe with a twist. Venison meatloaf, so easy and so wildly delicious. All right, I'm going in for a bite. I'm gonna dip it in the ketchup. Go just because the ketchup's homemade. How is it? Very good. Excellent. Very good.